What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a badass game called Fate Hunters. My name is Splattercat. We played this a while back but the game's had a bunch of updates so we're going to check it out again. This is one of those games that instantly ensnared me with its art style. Dude, I would kill to have the artist that did this game do like a portrait for my channel or anything else. Like his art style is so sick. It's so dope. It's got like kind of a darkest dungeon feeling to it where it's got like the thick ink lines But it's still got kind of a little bit of like realism in there and like contouring. I like it. I like it a lot We got to pick our character. We can be an arcanist or we can be apparently mostly we can just be an inquisitor And I'm okay with that because I'm down with the inquisition. Let's do it. Let's be an inquisitor Let's dedicate. We've got an explosion potion right there. I don't have any money right now, so I'm pretty sure we're just going to have to go into this thing with whatever we have, and then I'm going to have to expand my deck as we get further into the game. It's not really going to be a lot of options there, so let's just start off and we'll see how it goes. Um, I know how to play the game, so this is a very, very simple card game. Now, the goal is to kill all the enemies and move to the next floor without dying yourself. And so I have a critical strike dagger right here that I can play... Let's see here. Critical strike, deal two damage to a creature. Yeah, that sounds good. And then we can punch that guy and get him off the deck. And then we'll punch these two guys. There are no resources in this game. It's kind of a weird card game. You basically play everything in your hand every single turn, which sort of prioritizes building a good deck. But there's no resource generation or anything in this game. It's kind of weird like that. If you've never played it before, it might throw you for a slight loop. Oh, the zombies regenerate. Gotcha. Okay, well, I'm going to throw a beam of light at you. And then I'm going to punch you in the head. Hold on, I'm going to restore some HP too. Then, I'm going to punch you in the head until you fall over and you are no longer a problem for me. Like, I don't know why we brought the big mace, because obviously we're just going to punch people in the head. But into the next room we go. We've got a skeleton warrior and a goblin knight. Well, skeleton warrior can go. With the torch, we can reduce their attack by one, so they're only going to deal a little bit of damage. I can try to crit him. Unfortunately, it didn't go through, so it's not going to work out. What did we get over here? Oh, we get to pick a new card, Purifying Flame. So it's got last word, additional effect if you play this card when you have no cards in your hand. So silence a non-boss creature, banish a non-boss creature if it's the last card you play. We've got inner power, deal two damage to a creature if it's the last card you play. Return to your hand all the cards from your discard pile that were discarded in this turn. That's a really good card for us, really solid loop. A right of cleansing, three damage to a creature, discard two cards from the draw pile. If you play it last, discard two cards from the top of your draw pile. I'm going to go with inner power. It seems like the best thing here. Let's keep whooping on them, but we got to just, like, hope that we pull through here. I think we're going to take a little bit of damage, but we managed to nerf their damage before the turn went through, so I'm not that scared. Uh, crit, please? Ah, no crit. Unfortunate. Well, I'll deal my damage there. We'll deal a little bit more. I'm going to get my HP back that they took from me. Look at the top two cards. Draw one. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I will take inner power. That is the last card in my hand. So that'll return everything that I discarded during the turn. Let's see here. Trophies. So you can take any number of cards or not take them all. Click on this card and add it to your discard pile. So it's one we can use this one time. If we finish the dungeon with this card, we get X gold. So if we can make it through the dungeon without using this item, we get 10. Choose one card and add it to your hand if we play it. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't plan on playing it. That thing's coming with me to the end of the dungeon, believe. Uh, we've got a shapeshifter over here who does a considerable amount of damage. Oh, and that thing attacked me first. Choose a card to discard from your hand. All right. Well, you're gone first. That gave me the dagger. It didn't crit, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to do anything right there. But we just got to ride this thing out. Hopefully we get a good attack next turn. And we've got our treasure card. I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to use the belt to look at the top two cards, and we're going to take Light Lance. There it is. Perfect. So we've eliminated the enemy. This time around, it looks like... Yeah, I'll take that one, too. Uh, it's getting risky, though, because those can come up in draws. Average monsters with common loot. Let's do that one. I don't know how far into the dungeon we are and how much longer we have to go, but these guys don't look that bad. I think we can take them. So kill the dog. 
Hey, we got a crit right there. Very nice. Uh, I am not going to play that. Instead, what we'll do is we've got Purge, Holy Fire. If you restore four more HP this turn than the card, then your next card will deal double damage. Or we can pray to get HP, then increases max card's effect by one. I like that. Let's do that. I like snowball cards. I'm a big fan of decks that snowball, and they, like, pick up momentum. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to restore my HP right there. We're going to draw a punch. We're going to hit him. And then we are going to continue just punch punching along. Punching away, doing the best that we can do. Uh, we've got gold coins right there. Or we've got a bone ring. Restore... 4 HP, you can't play this card from your hand. So when discarding this card on your turn, apply its effect. It does not work if you discard a card at the end of your turn. So, I would have to pick this card as a discard for another card. I think that might tie in with our weapon belt. I'm going to take all the treasures, but our deck is getting kind of full of non-useful items right now. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to have to play it. I got to delve. Oh, it was a mimic? No. Weak. I was hoping that would crit. I was going after him because he's giving everybody else extra attack. That's it for us. We just got wiped. That was the only way, I think, to save myself. Yeah. We almost made it. We almost made it. Such is life in this dungeon diving adventure. Such is life. All right, let's try it again. So that's one use. Remove this card from play. I kind of want to save that then until I really need it. This dude has critical strike, so I'm going to get rid of him first. We've got a Skeleton Warrior who actually has a decent amount of attack. So the left number is attack, the right number is HP, if you hadn't figured that out yet. I just realized that I didn't really explain that to any of you, and I feel kind of bad for it. We've got a Halberd. I will 100% take the Halberd. I think last time we got too much, like, treasure and not enough supplementary items to make our attack stronger. Hound got us right there. Let's drop that guy. Let's see if we can fish out a crit. We did not get the crit, but we should be able to eliminate him. We'll heal ourselves. We've got to level up on this side. Let's go with Blessed Weapon. Really? That'll stack with our Halberd. So that restores an HP and makes us triple attack with our next weapon guard. So that'll work with either our Critical Dagger or it'll work. Deal one damage to creature and adjacent. We'll just kill him off real fast. Ah, Healing Potion keeps coming up, but I need it. I am going to keep the treasure. But I'm going to try not to take two. Oh, my God. We didn't get a weapon card. Let me look at the top two cards. Let me have the halberd. We're going to play Blessed Weapon. Yeah, very nice. That played out about the way that I wanted it to play out. We're still going to take a little bit of heat right here. But... Can't change that. We've got a healing potion. I think that's a one-time run. Yeah, so we're going to play that because we're low on HP right now. Get the HP back, and then we'll critical dagger that guy. We've got a level up. We can go with a holy book, which reduces attack to a non-boss creature by two. And if it's the last word, we draw a card. Or we can take a health potion. I'm going to take the health. Actually, I'll take all of it. I keep forgetting that I don't have to choose. I can take all of it if I want to. Lots of skelly warriors. Nemesis isn't bad if we've taken damage, but I attack before they attack, as I recall, unless they're at the top of the round. So I'm going to take another Light Lance. Let me look at my belt here. We'll take the Critical Dagger. That's one down and one down. I'm going to heal to kind of mitigate the damage we're about to take from his attack. But I can't really change too much about that. When the bony dudes come for you, the bony dudes come for you. What are you going to do? So we'll go ahead and wipe this guy out real fast with just simple attacks. And that's going to take our HP bar up ever so slightly. We've got a fire potion. We've got a lucky coin. We can use that to draw cards or we can use that to get treasure at the end. I like that because it's a utility item that maybe we're going to be able to use. We've got dire wolves in here. Okay. 
Let's draw a card. That's good. We've got another Light Lance right there. That guy's now down. He's got five damage on him. I'm going to play that on him to get it down to a four. Oh, he's a boss, maybe? I think it's better to play the Health Potion now than never, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, he's just going to regenerate a lot of the damage that we did. But I can't change that, unfortunately. I'm going to draw two cards, and we can finish him now. He's down. We lost some treasure on that one, but we did what we had to do. So treasure five, deal one to two damage to a creature. One use, stun all creatures. That might save us. That's a very, very good desperate card if we just need to buy a turn. But that's a weapon card, which stacks with the build that we already have. In fact, I will take all three because I'm greedy. Uh, let's go with weak monsters and almost no loot because we're not in any shape right now to go nutso on some of the enemies we're facing. Uh, we got a firebomb right there. We didn't really get a great draw. I will take Light Lance since that refreshes my deck slightly. I don't really want to play Freeze Potion. He's only dealing one damage though, so... Banish all non-boss creatures with one or less attack. That stacks really well with Torch. Lose 2 HP, gain a shield. I'm going to take Divine Terror and we'll just see how that plays. Nice. Okay, so we're out of this thing. The downside of these treasure cards is they make it so I can't use... I'm going to take both of those, please. Let me get them. The deck is getting kind of beefy right now, though, and we're on the boss officially. No torch on my first pull, which is a downer. We do have Blessed Weapon. So that gets rid of all his little homeboys. Oh, really? He's spiky. Whenever he takes damage, you lose one HP. Weak. Uh, I need the healing potion to come up, otherwise we're not going to survive this. Ugh. God. We were so close, man. This dude being spiked is really what did us in. Yeah, it just can't be helped. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do feel like the game needs... You need to get passive income by playing the game because right now we can't buy any new characters or anything else like that. Like, while playing the game, it shouldn't rely on success that you get coins because it's such a meager amount that it shouldn't rely on that. I think, like, every time you level up, you should get, like, five coins, basically, because that sort of denotes how far into the dungeon you made it. And that's not enough for you to really buy a whole lot, but it is enough for you to slowly start getting enough coins to unlock other little things that can be added to your deck, I guess. Uh, maybe five coins would be a lot. Maybe, like, two coins than looking at the balance of the game right now. But it is kind of a bummer that you really... You play some of these rounds and you get no advancement on your character because advancement requires entirely that you actually survive till the end. I feel like our deck was really good right there. I just foobarred by playing that. I didn't read his abilities. That was kind of my fault. I shouldn't have played a triple ability on him like that that was going to spam my health down to nothing. Alright, there's one down. Hopefully we can heal up at some point. There's no loot in this room. Well, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Wish that there was, but there ain't. Alright, so a light lance over there. We will eliminate you with just lovely, lovely punches. As far as our level up goes... I will take Judgment. 5 HP is pretty rad. That's a pretty good hit. Let's take the Critical Strike Dagger. If we get lucky, which we didn't, it would have ended the fight right there. Unfortunately, we did not get lucky like that. Uh, we're going to have to play all of our healing stuff right now. And then we'll finish him off with Light Lance. We've got a Goblin Wand. Deal three damage to a random creature whenever it's discarded. That's going to be a tricky card. But we might be able to make it work. It's going to be a little tricksy. Now choose a card to discard from your hand. I'll get rid of the torch. Alright, so he's down. We can do 5 HP to somebody. Let me do that. Give me the other punch. 
That guy's gone. We can do 5 HP, but it'll cost us 2 HP. It's gonna be a costly turn. I'm gonna walk away and just take the 4. Because then it put us down to 1 HP, and that's a little concerning. Another one goes down. Another one goes down. We've got explosion potions. Add two random item cards to your hand or four damage to a creature. I'm going to take it all. Both those seem okay to me. Seven damage to a creature, then decrease this damage. Oh, nice, dude. I'll take that. I'm going to save it for, like, a better time. Like, we want to use that average monsters and common loot. All right, that's what we're going to have to do. Our HP is kind of low right now. Alright, so we've got a teleport scroll, escape from the tower, keep all your gold. I'm going to do an energy potion, that'll give us three cards. We will play that first. I didn't have the discard card in my hand. Bummer, I'll throw out a punch, that's fine. Heal for one HP, I probably could have thrown away the teleport scroll actually since I'm not going to use it. And we've got our light lance right there, we drew another card. Hopefully that'll get us a dagger. Perfect. Next room. Throwing daggers. Deal one damage to a creature. Draw a card, then discard a card. Alright. What you got for me? Damn, the enchanted wand is not coming up when I need it to come up. use the explosion potion but I kind of just want to wait and take the one damage and see if maybe my healing herbs will come up and I can mitigate it well healing herb didn't come up but oh well that's life uh, we can choose torch that's fine it doesn't matter uh, healing potion yep and yep we'll take both of those healing potion I think is gonna be super required if we want to be okay in this run uh, healing herbs ourselves, because we're going to take some damage. Our power has grown. Healing herbs again. Deal one damage. Draw, then discard a card. Throw that out. Hit him, and hit him. Six damage is no lie. This kind of worries me. Discard a card. If this card is treasure, you gain five HP. It's a weapon card. Deal two damage to all creatures. You discard another card. Draw a card. We can get another sacred sign. We might be able to win this one just by sheer DPS buffs. I need that health potion to come up. I don't know where it's at, but it's hiding from me. I do not like going into a boss fight like this. Yeah, we're not going to make this. I was going to say, if we draw a health potion on the first turn, we might be okay. Definitely need the healing potion. It's the only way we're going to pull through this. And we need to deal, like, big damage. Otherwise, this dude's going to lay us out. So, luckily, I've been saving my sacred signs for just this occasion. We're restoring HP, and then, man, the music got kind of hyped all of a sudden. Uh, we killed the boss. Click on a card to add it to your discard pile. I will take... Choose a non-boss creature and swap the attack and health. The fortune teller. Fate points five. Choose a card. Delve a heroic skill card. Choose a tarot card. This is new. I haven't seen this before. Exile a card from your deck. One FP. Restore full HP. I'll do that one. Yeah. Yeah. Increase your max HP by one. That sounds good. We've got a level up right now. We can do Brainstorm, so that's a heroic skill. Add two loot bags to your hand so we can be a looter. Or choose an adventure. I don't know what either of those do, but... I'm going to add the loot, I guess. Level cleared. We have 15 gold. We can go forth, or we can escape to the tower. Go forth. I'm a gambler. It's what I do. I know it's probably a mistake, but I'm going to do it anyways. 
So draw a card and then draw an additional card for every treasure card in your deck. You cannot draw additional cards this turn. I do have a lot of treasure cards. Swap his attack and his health. That doesn't really help me out that much. Oh yeah, I nerfed my draw like an idiot. I forgot that I even did that. Swap his attack and health is not going to matter. I'm an idiot. I just wasted that card. God. Let's go ahead and hit him with a little bit of sunlight. Explosion potion's good. We'll finish him off real fast. A enlightenment potion. I'll take it. I will take it. XP is XP. Oh good, my shield stays. Hell yeah. Alright, so we gotta judgment this dude to nerf some of the attack that's up in here. It's not a great card to play last, in all honesty. Not an amazing card to play last. I just want these out of my inventory, so... There we go. We still have our teleport scroll, so hopefully that comes up at a good place. Get two potion cards from your pile. Loot bag. Add two random cards to your hand. Alright, cool. Sounds good. I like having draw economy, so... Oof. That's a fight right there. Okay, well, obviously we're going to nuke him up front. He's the biggest, scariest source of damage. I can't draw any additional cards, though, so if I get draw cards off of that, it's not going to help. Lame. I should have waited and played that last after playing everything else. I got my turn order messed up. Uh, who does the most damage here? Give me a shield. Yeah, these guys are eating my cards. Oh good, they got the confusion potion. Nice. I don't really care about the confusion potion, so that works out. I'll take the 5 XP. We'll grow the deck. We got holy ground. Deal 6 damage to a creature with 2 or less attack. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice. On use, one use, you lose one HP. Why would I do... Oh, it's a curse. Damn it. Critical strike. So we've got a skull crusher. Ow. It critted on me, too. Lame, bro. Not just kind of lame. Super lame. I can't do this. Yeah, I'm starting to get that feeling, man. I'm starting to get that feeling, too. Hang in there, brother. Hang in there. We'll do the mystery room, I guess. Whenever he takes damage, discard a card from your hand. Give me two loot bags. Oh, was it the last one? Hold on. Add two loot bags. Reserve, so at the end of your turn, this card is not discarded. Draw two random potions. Shouldn't I have gotten two random potions? Deal six damage and add a curse card to the discard pile. An elemental staff, draw two cards, discard one at one of them, and then deal three to five to a creature. The Sword of Heroes. That's not going to help out that much. Perfect. Good. I was a little worried about that. Deal X damage. So do those cards like stay in my hand? All these crazy swords and stuff? Sword of Vengeance is pretty sweet. So like are these things staying in here? Oh they are. The hammer is still there too. Jesus. It's a boss fight now, huh? The Witch in Tomb. Add a curse card to the draw pile. Knight's got a shield. We have Skull Crusher, but it'll kill us if we use it. Deal five damage. 
think we're hosed, is what I think. Yep, I think we're hosed. We did our best. We did our best. Our teleport scroll didn't come up. No! Oh, God. This game is called Fate Hunter. Thank you for joining me. It's a really cool game. I like it a lot, but it is difficult, and they don't give you progress for nothing. I guess I should have bailed out, but it would have only been 15 coins. Like, I don't know. It costs 100 to get the next character. So, like, you got to have a real good game to make it out. Maybe a teleport scroll would have been the best strategy there. I probably should have teleported earlier when it came up instead of discarding it when things started to go sideways. It's more than likely my fault. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on. If you want to get the game for yourself, it's on Steam right now down below. You can purchase it there. If you enjoyed this episode, don't hesitate for a moment. Hit the like button. It helps me out as a content creator and makes sure that I don't end up, you know, washing dishes again. I'll see y'all later. Hi to everybody.